Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a quick general reading for you for something that you're not expecting, but it would be in your highest benefit to expect it. If you're looking for something more personal, you can um, check the description. And I have all the options on my website if you're interested in that. So what is Aquarius not expecting, but it would benefit them to be aware of it? Oh, the tower. So something is changing. Something is coming down. Something's ending. There's a tower moment um, coming for you or someone that's in your energy field. Um, please show me more about this tower. What Aquarius isn't expecting about this tower. The Hermit. Okay, so it's guided. It's definitely um, spirit guided. It's definitely um, being guided by the divine. It's being created by the divine. It's an opportunity being handed to you from the divine. That's just what I'm getting. You, you've you been doing um, research or not, not like, I guess it's research. It's like you've been expanding your understanding of different topics that interest you and it's creating a tower for you because um, there's certain things in your reality that are needing to come down because they don't resonate with you anymore. They don't, they aren't a match for you anymore. Energetically, it's not a match for you anymore. Your, your um, newfound understanding of something, I don't know what this, what the understanding is about, but your newfound understanding and perspective is um, tearing something down. You have energetically created the change. So now it needs to have the change in 3D. The 3D change has to come now. Okay. Alrighty, uh, so... What's happening in this tower? What's happening in this tower? For Aquarius? What does the tower look like? gonna happen eight of swords okay someone is on someone is stuck somewhere and so this tower is happening to help alleviate this um this feeling of being trapped somewhere it could be trapped in a mindset it could be physically and i don't want to say like you're not kidnapped um but like it's like you are energetically um trapped by someone someone is energetically possessing you take that lightly um this is someone who um, can't be in your um, 3D reality currently because they are an, an energy vampire. They are they they take from you. They take from your power. So they lessen your power, and your power is needed at, in full force. So um, this person is the tower is happening because they're um, some both parties are resisting the tower. Like no one's moving, or no one's going anywhere, or something. So the tower has to happen or someone feels like they can't go somewhere someone feels like there's nothing they can do they feel someone feels helpless in the situation someone feels like they don't have a way out so the, the divine is bringing in a way for you to get out what is the tower <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll get more clarification with the other deck for the tower i guess um so what's the outcome of this tower then for, I almost said for Gemini, for Aquarius? I did just do the Gemini reading. What's the outcome of this tower for Gemini? Oh, two cards. Oh, beautiful. The world and, and judgment. So this is um, de deciding to go on a new path. This is, um, you're starting a new cycle. You're, um, ooh, I'm picking up the deck upside down. You're, um, you're taking this catalyst. You're taking this catalyst for yourself. You're taking um, the op this opportunity and you are going to run with it. You're going to use this opportunity. You're going to take this opportunity as the divine has given you this opportunity to get out of this. And this could be you're actually trapped in like a connection or this could be you're trapped at a job or you're trapped in a mindset. Um, it could be even a shadow self or your ego that that keeps you held back keeps you withheld and this new understanding which your ego doesn't want to happen so 
um, it might even try to scare you about information that you get but I don't know what that's about that could be a specific message for someone but um, you're detaching from no matter what you're detaching from it is still ego just you know manifested in a, in a three in 3d form you know what I mean so you are detaching from your ego and taking this catalyst to start a new cycle for yourself you're you're making a final judgment call and what I'm feeling with this judgment card is you're not gonna go back you're not gonna go back on this decision you are very clear-headed about this decision You're going to take this opportunity and you're going to run with it. Okay. Alrighty. Magician and the High Priestess. When I split the deck. Beautiful. All right, could you show me more about this tower for Aquarius? Yeah, temperance. Yeah, so um, this is like a conflict, a fight, an argument with others. Um, it could be an argument. It's it's wherever you're trapped, you're having an argument with that person or in that in that area or because of that mindset you're there's conflict that's being created because of this specifically and with this person specifically um it could be an air sign by the way it could be um i almost said aries <laughs> i always do that because i'm saying air and i don't want to say aries uh but uh gemini libra aquarius but it could just be alluding to you your energy here um you also could be dealing with a sagittarius um or a virgo um, but either way, so this this is like a te the temperance angel, the 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 divine stepping in and is is there with you during this tower, um, during this conflict. They're with you. Um, if you have a specific sp uh, spirit guide or ancestor that you know is energetically around you and is a guide for you, um, they're with you during this tower. They are. This is all led. So this tower like is going to feel bad in the moment because you're going to be arguing and it's not going to feel good and you're not going to feel very spiritual during it and you're not going to feel like you're you, like you're you know awakened during it because it's going to be igniting um a part of you that is needing to be healed like it's it's going to be turning on a um a part of within you this is what happens like when you get into arguments like with people that you're supposed to be detaching from and um in but because of cycles and mindsets that you're supposed to be detaching from, um, you're going to be in arguments that don't feel like, like it's it's going to almost feel like you're a past self that has no no none of this awareness. Like that's what that's what that feels like, and it's because that aspect of you is coming forward to be healed and to be shown and to be to be acknowledged and and to be released ultimately. So that's why things like that happen. It's not because you aren't actually spiritual. It's not because you haven't actually gotten anywhere. It's not because um, you can't control yourself. It's because it's divinely led. It's supposed to happen. We are supposed to have shadow selves. We came to the 3D Earth for a reason. Um, if we came to the 3D Earth just to be our spiritual higher selves only, there would be no point in an Earth. Um, there would be no point in this in general. If we were always our higher selves, we are We are our higher selves. We are our 3D selves as well. So we need to um, acknowledge and appreciate that 3D side of us because we are just as much 3D as we are our, our spirit selves you know what I mean like we are our true souls are 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 the ones that would not be affected by this because they have a deeper understanding of everything but it's our 3d selves that we're dealing with here in these situations and it's necessary it's not wrong it's meant it's supposed to be think about it why why would we have a 3d earth why would we manifest in 3d just to be our higher selves which we could be you know on any other planet you know what i mean like why would we do that other than to be 3d and to experience these things from the 3d perspective we are you're releasing um a shadow self or healing a shadow self or a shadow self is making itself known within this this fight for you and it's 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 to deepen your understanding of yourself and deepen your appreciation for yourself um okay so i'm talking a lot <laughs> okay um please show me more about the eight of swords
Okay, so the fight could happen because you are finally communicating this. You're finally um, communicating this to whoever you need to communicate this. Whoever you're in this cycle with, it really does feel like a person. But it could be, again, a, an aspect of you, um, a mindset that you have that, that keeps you um, trapped. But either way, you're communicating with someone about this. Um, to the Son of Wands here, it could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Definitely Sagittarius. There's a lot of Sagittarius energy. So, um, yeah, there's communication about this. And, and someone's communicating and, like, maybe even confessing the fact that they feel trapped. And, oh, gosh. I'm even, I'm even feeling like the other person is, like... They don't see how detaching from them would make this change for you. They think that you're using it as an excuse... They think that, well, like, why wouldn't you just do whatever it is you're feeling held back from doing with me? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm feeling with this. It's like they're kind of, they're kind of taking it as you're blaming them. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, when you're communicating the fact that you feel trapped, it turns into an argument because um, somebody's pride. You could also be dealing with a Leo, for sure, or someone with Leo on their chart. Um, but... Yes, like someone is, is their egos getting inflamed by someone communicating about feeling trapped, feeling like they're stuck somewhere. So they're like, well, that's not my fault. Like, you just, you do this. Like, well, how would me being with you have anything to do with you being trapped? Like, that's, that's just, like, that's just what I'm, like, hearing. <laughs> it's kind of odd when I, like, start hearing, like, the arguments or, f like, feeling the arguments. <laughs> I hate it. I hate arguments. Um, but yeah, this is someone who's really prideful and is struggling with this communication that you're communicating with them. Or this is communication that someone finds even. Someone finds a communication of you speaking of this. Someone someone either sees or is receiving communication about you feeling trapped and they're not happy because they feel like you're blaming them. So they're very defensive. So that's where the argument comes in. Um, okay. Could you show me more about the outcome with the world and judgment card here for Aquarius? Father of Swords. Yeah, you, um, you're definitive now. Like, this, this argument even shows you a side to this person. Who, uh, what reading was this? Uh, this is kind of, this is kind of like the, I think the Libra reading a little bit. Uh, where you're, this, this argument is kind of opening your eyes to who this person is and you don't like what you're seeing. You don't like what you're seeing in this argument, in this fight. You don't like the way someone has taken this communication when you're just trying to genuinely communicate how you feel. So you don't like the reaction. So you you kind of call on that um, detached side of you, Aquarius, where you um, can kind of you can kind of like like disconnect at a level when you get into an argument with people like this. You disconnect at a certain level. And you could even be, like, it's like a switch. I understand this switch because this happens to me. I'm an Aquarius moon. Um, I understand this switch where someone is hurting you. So it's like, it's like a whole energy switch where it's like you completely cut them off from any type of emotion. And you're, only, you're very stern. You could even be, like, like laughing in an argument. Like, it, it turns into, like, you're just, like, giving off like I don't care and you even f you genuinely feel that you genuinely feel that I don't care energy because it's like that Aquarius side of you is igniting and, and like turning on you know what I mean it's it's like it's a defense mechanism really is really what it is um but it's like a love it's you're detaching yourself mentally in the middle of this fight that's just what I'm getting <laughs> like is this reading for me like I don't know <laughs> it's just so funny um I'm feel I, I can I'm resonating with you so strongly. Like I feel I feel this fight for you, and I I understand I understand fully. Um, <laughs> uh, please show me uh, more about the outcome. How about the outcome for the other person? How does the other person feel at the end of all of this? Wheel of Fortune. Okay, someone could be feeling um, this switch, feeling this change. They are feeling um, a new cycle coming. They, they're, they're looking um, 
towards the future. I'm also feeling a sense of like karma from the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this person is going to receive some form of karma if if necessary. Um, if you're aware that there's karma that's that's going to be had, um, not inflicted by anyone but the divine, of course. You know, because that's that's true karma. Karma is comes from the divine. You know, p other people can't intentionally inflict karma. Like other people can unknowingly inflict karma without realizing that they're inflicting karma just because they're they're just spirit led in general but someone who has the intention of I'm gonna deliver your karma that's not karma and you know you're only creating more karma for yourself so you know the divine is is going to be giving this person the karma um, that is deserved however it is for you in your situation but either way they're aware that this is the end with it being a number 10 with the wheel of fortune someone's aware that um, this is the end okay All right, so, all right, let's get, uh, I wanna go with the other deck and I wanna see like what you can be excited about because uh, I don't really like tapping into this fight to be completely honest with you. So what should Aquarius be excited about? What can Aquarius look forward to and be excited about? Wow, the three of wands. There's there's definitely with the threes here, um, 21 breaking down to a three, um, and like the nines, like there's definitely like a catalyst situation um, here for you. Be excited that um, this, this is working out for you in your favor to get you out of this eight of swords because the divine can't have you in this eight of swords energy. They need you free. They need you open and they need you um, on your path and on your purpose. They can't have um, energy vampires. These people need to be teared down out of your life because you you can't have these energy vampires anymore. You need your your full energy and you need your energy for your purpose and for you, um, not for everybody else. Everybody else is supposed to be getting their own energy, their own light and love from their connection to source. It should not be they're taking it from anybody else um, because everybody has their abil the ability to connect and it's it's their choice to not connect, you know what I mean? They can choose not to connect and they don't have the energy. Um, and that's, that, that's a clear sign when these people, when you're detaching from these people, they are going to give the worst reactions, the worst reactions because they are, they, you are an energy source for them. Like you, you, you feed their, the, any ability that they have, any sense of peace within them is fueled by you because you are their connection to source. They're getting a third party, it's like a third party like siphoning of your energy where they should have, they should have a direct connection to source and light love energy. Everybody has their own connection and you know, if they're deciding to erode their connection, that's their choice. If, if, if you're deciding to at open your connection and accept your connection and heal and like you know be always be looking towards um, the most high vibrational path possible for you and course of action and energy in your life um, then you deserve the fruits of your labor the other people don't can't be riding on your energetic success it, it's just like it can't be happening they need their own connection so these people are going to react in the worst way and that is the most clear sign that you were dealing with an energy vampire. Like they react in the worst ways, the worst ways. Um, and it's like almost like shocking when it happens. It's, it's pretty shocking when it happens. Um, but yeah, so three of wands, look forward to this catalyst moment catapulting you to the future. Um, this is, this is, you're going to have something to work with with the three of wands. You're going to have a direction and a, and a, a course of action that you're going to want to take that's going to open up and be clear to you especially when you you remove this person from your energy field and you know keep in mind this could be a job too the a job is the same way you know it's it's taking from you taking from you taking from you I don't care what they pay you um, it, it's it's not energetically worth it that's not for everyone because it's not about work for everybody but that's for someone specific um yeah okay so there's a lot of potential in this space. Um, best of luck going through this situation, this tower. So, 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 so much love to you, Aquarius. Um, I feel you on this and uh, you're, you're good. You're good. So don't worry. This is all happening for you. Even if in this moment it feels like you're kind of like taking steps back. It's really just 
um, a part of you that's coming forward to be healed and to be acknowledged and realized and appreciate it and if this is something that you've been dealing with for a long time this you've created a shadow self with this whole situation there's a whole shadow side to you that's that is harboring resentment for this for this trapping um energy for for feeling trapped for feeling like like this person had got so used to taking your energy they got so used to feeding off of you um that that they energetically trapped you they energetically trapped you and i saw a comment on the on the libra reading about um why uh like possessing someone might be bad and it's on di it's really truly on different levels there are people that that want to have that feeling of of um possession but in reality you need to check yourself a little bit and kind of look at why like what aren't you giving yourself that you're needing from that other person to give you like what what within you is telling you that you need to possess anyone you know what i mean because you should be um focusing on uh, connecting stronger with your inner being rather than trying to trap somebody else's inner being um, and somebody else's energy. So that's just my two cents on that. You need to check yourself um, and kind of take a look at why you feel the need to possess someone or why you feel like that's something that would be incorporated in a healthy connection. Maybe just kind of look within and answer that for yourself. What, what about that fulfills um, something for you. What is it fulfilling for you that you aren't fulfilling for yourself already? Um, but yeah, okay, so that's my little, my little, uh, two cents on that. Um, again, best of luck in this situation, Aquarius. Lots of love to you. Um, I wish you, again, <laughs> for the millionth time, best of luck. Bye! <laughs>